Welcome to Cha Cha's Queendom. This is Cha Cha, and I am here doing my very first sponsored product review. So I'm a little excited and nervous. But I am the perfect person for a car fridge product review. Why? Because I really have been looking for a good car fridge for a long time now. And why? Because if you know me, you know how specific I am with my food. And if you don't, I'm telling you now, so listen carefully. So I am very particular when it comes to food and the quality of the food and the freshness of my ingredients, okay? I'm talking about picnicking. When I am go picnicking, I am bringing, making beef bourguignon or my signature smoked salmon fried rice, nothing ordinary coming out of this kitchen even when picnicking, okay? And for grocery shopping, there's never a one stop for all, okay? Try living with me, seriously. I will go to a specific place for seafood, a specific place for beef or for my chicken, and I will drive an hour or more to a destination where they have the best steak in town. Mm -hmm. So you know how important a good car fridge is crucial for me. It arrived with this brown cardboard box and I open it up, you see this beautiful fancier box. And inside there are two cables and an extraction. And as you can see, it's actually very well packaged. So the product is very well protected and you open it up and ooh la la, this is a nice looking car fridge. I know people say don't judge a book by its cover, but when the cover is pretty, you know, we can't resist to check it out, right? Right? And this ice cold thing, honestly, I when I saw it on a picture online, I was like, oh, this is a very sleek design. I kind of like it. But when I see it in person, oh my god, it's even better because it's got a lot of detail finish, like the the uh, like the pearl white, you know, this sparkling, you know, particle thing. It's just pretty and it just makes me feel like, okay, I want to take you out with me. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't wait. We just work right in and inside there is, I'm going to show you. So you have this one, you know, like the normal car charge thing, like the cigarette pole thing. So what you do is you plug this in right and then you plug this into your um, car cigarette thing for charging or sometimes because you want to pre cooling down before you put things in before your road trip right so you can start this car fridge at home you just put this connector thing in I don't even know the name of these thing you just you know right and then you have this normal plug that you can use in your home and you just plug it in. Once you plug it in, this touch screen will light up. And then all you need to do is to press on the on and off button for like three seconds. And then, ta-da, it's on. So you can see on the touch screen, that it's 17 degree inside the temperature right now and it's Celsius, but you can also switch back to Fahrenheit. We'll talk about that later. Anyways, and then you see on the side of this, there says eco. So apparently the first button is on and off. And then here, this second button here, you can adjust to max or eco mode. And when it's at max mode, it will cool down faster. So it takes about 15 minutes or so from a 73 degree Fahrenheit to 32 degree Fahrenheit, which is like 20 degrees to zero Celsius. It takes about 15 minutes for the max mode. For eco mode, it takes for about an hour or so to drop to that point. So it's up to you like how fast you want to cool it down. And you can adjust it accordingly. And then the third button is the lock button. So it will be light up for about I don't know, for a little bit. And then if it notices that you're not using it, it will turn dark. Dark means the screen is locked. So all you, so you can't do anything with it. So, you know, it's preventing, you know, when you're in the car, other things touching it and mess up with the setting and all that. So if you wanna turn it back on or you wanna use the touch screen again, you just simply press on the lock button for like three seconds and it light up and then you can, you know, use it. But touch screen, there is one downside. 
right? Because some because there's no special sound or feeling like you don't know if you touch the right spot, spot, and you don't know if it's sensing you, right? So this fridge it comes with an app that you can work with. It's awesome. It's way easier, and then you can be driving or at the passenger seat, and then you can check the status of this fridge or change the setting right there. You don't need to get down and go to the trunk and you know do things. No, you can just use the app. How do you get to the app? So here they have like two barcode thing. One is for Google Play, one is for Apple App Store. And you just take a photo of these, whatever phone you have, whatever system you use, you just take a photo of that barcode and it will take you right to the App Store and then download it and then it will find the fridge on its own with a Bluetooth, right? So it's pretty awesome, but, but I didn't make a mistake. What happened is I used my phone to take a photo for both barcode, barcode, and I just assumed that it will pick up on its own, like this is an Apple system, but don't know, it took me to the uh, Google app thing, and I have a hard time, I couldn't download it, I'm like, okay, whatever. So I just go to my app store and type in car fridge, and then I just downloaded one of the car fridge app, which is not the app for this one. So I had a hard time, I have to register my email and all that. And then I was like, okay, maybe this time I'll just aim it on the, you know, Apple app side so it doesn't catch on the Google app side. And boom, it worked. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. So I tortured myself the whole time. Long story short, once I got the right app, it connects right away. It was like searching on its own, connecting like with Bluetooth. And then all you need to do is just to open up the app and then it will connect with your fridge like that. And inside it shows the status of the fridge and you press the set button where it takes you to um, operate whatever setting you want to do. You can set the temperature to, to your preference and you can uh, switch between the eco mode and the max mode. And like we said earlier, uh, you can switch from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you know, to your preference. And then there's this battery protection thing that I have no idea what it is for, but if you do know what it's for, it's there for you. Let's take a look at the inside of the fridge. So basically there's this um, thing that you can just push and it will open up. It's a little lock thing. And a nice, th there is a chart to tell you like some of the food item, what kind of food it is, and then what kind of recommending temperature setting, setting that is. I think that's very helpful. It's not a huge space, but it's a very decent size for your grocery shopping and your short road trip. And I'll include the dimension in the description. And I really like this design where there is a light inside. When you open it up, it will lit up. And I think it's very thoughtful design. And let me show you how it looks like when there are things in there. So you have a feeling uh, with how many things you can fit in there. So here are two milk carton. You can just put it in. And you can basically easily fit three of them in there and with some extra um, space on the top. So that's how big this <laughs> fridge is. And when I use it for a freezer, I'll keep a few, a couple, a couple of these um, ice pack in there because it doesn't really take up space. But then what I can do is, you know, I also have these insulated cooler kind of thing. You know, sometimes some of the groceries, you don't really need to keep them frozen, but you need to keep them, keep them cool. And when you're on your road trip, sometimes these ice pack will melt, right? But then if you have a couple extra here, you can swap or, you know, it's just, for me, I think it's very uh, convenient. So I always keep a couple in there when I use it as a freezer. There's one more thing I need to show you. Look at this. When I close it, it doesn't slam. It doesn't slam. I need to install this for my kid's door because they slam the door, right? Anyways, and I'll, but then you, you will want to press it to lock it, right? I want to see one more time, the soft closing. It doesn't slam. Isn't it elegant? Mm -hmm. And one last thing is there's this hidden, see? Handle, yeah, you won't see it, but then when you need it, it's there. 
So it's easy for you to carry it to the car. And this fits in our Tesla Model X, the hidden trunk in the back. Like there's one that you can flip up and then you can, you know, put it underneath. It fits perfectly. So overall, I'm really happy with this Iceco Geo 12 car fridge. It's beautiful, it fits my style. And it's very functional, it's easy to use. I didn't have to read instruction to get it working perfectly, which is not recommended. You should read your instruction before you use it, okay? So if you happen to need a car fridge, I highly recommend you to check this out. The only thing is, I think now I might want to get a bigger one because I know they have a dual zone car fridge, which you can use one and then put a divider in and then you can split them into freezers and fridge. Thank you for watching. If you have some extra time, check out my cooking channel on YouTube at Cha Cha's Queendom for more yummy, delicious cooking videos. And I'll see you there.